I love being, oh, I love being, oh, I love being a turtle. Turtles, turtles count it off. One, two, three, four, turtles. Sorry, uh, kind of got carried away when I'm talking about turtles. But can you blame me? I mean, everyone has a favorite Ninja Turtle. Everyone does. Even if you can't remember the names, you still have a favorite color, color of turtle. And it's just it's a fact of life. Just like everyone has a favorite color Power Ranger, everyone has a favorite color turtle. It's just what it is, what it is. And if your favorite turtle is Donatello or the purple one, then I've got bad news for you. You're definitely in the minority, but who cares? We are breaking down all the details of the smartest Ninja Turtle of them all, Donatello. Because I know we all wanna be a Ninja Turtle, at least that's why I started my martial arts career 22 years ago. And so I'm gonna be using my experience to help you guys not only understand uh, the fighting styles of each individual turtle, but also train to be like them and get you started with a tutorial at the end of this video. And of course, we're gonna be using bow staff, so just, just get ready, it's gonna be awesome. So whether you like Donatello for his charm, his tech, or his weapon, I got you covered in this episode. But let me know if Donatello is your favorite or even if he's not your favorite and you just like Donatello, what is it about him that you like? Is it the charm, is it the tech, or is it his weapons? For me, ooh, it's that, what's that weapon? Bow staffs are just, but let me know in the comments what you think it is. What's up guys, it's your only Ninja wearing Avers and a superhero hat and welcome to the Modern Ninja channel. Now please consider blowing up the video because I'm still wondering if I should do uh, just the turtles or go past and do Casey Jones and Splinter. Let me know please in the comments. It's really going to help me decide whether or not it's worth it for you guys because if y'all don't care then why would I make the video but if some of you do care be loud in the comments. So for this video, it's time to learn how to be like Donnie, but before we can be like Donnie, we have to understand who Donnie is. Donatello is the tech genius of the turtles and keeping his brothers high tech enough to compete with some of the best scientists the world has to offer and even keeping up with literal aliens that come from outer space, which is really impressive especially being just, you know, a random turtle in the sewers of New York. Now, just like his brother Leo, if you saw the previous video, Donnie will have some base skills that pretty much all of the turtles and turtle adjacent characters have. That being most notably gymnastics and ninjutsu uh, for, I mean, obvious reasons. The gymnastics will get us started with flipping around the battlefield just like the turtles do, and the ninjutsu will keep us quiet and stealthy staying unseen in the shadows to keep, you know, our turtle secret quiet. Now I've done full videos about ninjutsu and parkour slash gymnastics, so if you want me to go more into detail about that, please let me know and I'll do that in the, the next turtle video. But for now, we're gonna leave it at that. Because I really wanna get into the details of how the turtle uh, uses this uniquely. Donnie takes a more intellectual intellectual approach into dealing with his bad guys. Using his more strategic brain to use physics to take down stronger foes or sending in whole robots to fight for him. Because of the time he spends with his tech, that's probably gonna mean he's the least skilled as far as raw power and talent goes of the turtles but that does not make him a slouch it actually just means that he can use that the, the leverage and the science behind his techniques to make each one more effective even though he doesn't just have that raw power in him so if we're going to fight like Donnie, as well as, you know, knowing ninjutsu and gymnastics, we're gonna also wanna ace our physics class. And if we are been out of school like I have for way too long, man, I graduated so long ago. Let me know if you could guess how long ago that was. But if you haven't been in school, definitely pick up a physics book because you're going to need that solid knowledge. But having all that knowledge and science based uh, in his combat, is kind of ironic and kind of funny when you consider how Splinter gave him the least technologically advanced weapon out of all of the turtles. There's no blades, there's no pointy ends, it's not even made of metal. 
it's just a really long stick. This forces Donnie to incorporate his bow staff and basic staff movements with his tech and science brain for a perfect yin yang mix. And having a giant staff to use as a lever opens up so many doors for the turtle. Now, as far as learning bow staff, that's gonna honestly be relatively easy. Nearly all martial arts styles that use some kind of weapon include the bow staff. Honestly, even martial arts styles in schools that don't traditionally use weapons like a Krav Maga school may still have bow staff taught just as part of their school's curriculum. Because at the end of the day, whacking people with a stick is <laughs> pretty fun. So you can pretty much pick whatever is in your area or whatever style you would like to go with. If you really, really, really want a Japanese style to go with the whole ninja theme, you can pick Bojutsu, which entirely focuses on bow or staff martial arts. It's similar to Kendo in that it focuses on just that weapon and has a combative and sport aspect to it. But when you mix this with a little bit of modern Taekwondo and just a smidgen of XMA, it will give you all the skills that you need to do to use a bow staff and move around like a Ninja Turtle, specifically like Donatello. So let's get out with our staffs, go to the outdoors and figure out how to use one of Donnie's staff combos right now. So today we have Donatello and for Donatello, again, I'm wearing the wrong shirt, <laughs> but we're not gonna worry about that. Maybe for Raph, we'll be wearing the right shirt, but who knows. <laughs> um, for today, we're going over a bow staff combination. Now there's lots of different types of bow staffs. I love performance bow staffs. That's just the thing I like to pick uh, as far as my preference goes, but there's lots of different kinds of preferences. And so if you want a performance staff or a more traditional solid staff or in some kind of mix in between. There's lots of different stats at Century Martial Arts that you can check out. And if you use my code NINJA10, you can get a 10% discount on whatever staff or stats, plural, you pick. Cause as you guys know, I love my double stats as well. However, what we're going to be doing today is a combination that I designed for every Donatello enthusiast out there. So let's get into it. Starting off, we're gonna to wanna to start in an offensive grip, meaning we have both thumbs going in the same direction. One hand would be upside down, one hand would be regular. If that helps you, you just want two thumbs up if you hold it in front of you. Now, with that said, the first move is going to be a standard strike, sliding our bottom hand slightly down to our hip, and our top hand pushes out like a punch to our left side, just like so. Again, it slides down, pushes out, all the way through, bang. That's our first strike. This is gonna be our forward strike. From here, we're gonna do a combination going up, down, side to side. And if I face you for it, the, the staff will literally go up, down, side past our target, and side past our target. So for our first five moves, nice and simply, we have our first strike, going up, down, side, and to side. And that gives us our first move, but it also takes us to one of the harder moves in the combinations, which is our low block on the other side. From here, we're not gonna let go of our bow stab. We still gonna keep our two thumbs up, but we wanna bring both hands above our head, shift to our right side front stance, and bring that left hand in our right armpit. So one more time, left hand, in our right armpit as we block by our knee. From here, one, two, three, four, five, we're going to lift up our bow staff as we lift up our right foot and stomp with another forward strike, just like we started on the left side. So we have our forward strike, up, down, side, side. Left hand to left armpit for our low block, lifting up, striking with our forward strike on our right side as well. From here, we're gonna pull our hands together, not completely together, but closer for our figure eight. If you've never done a figure eight before, I've covered it many a time in my tutorials, but if you don't wanna go through the hassle of finding that video for more details, here's the long and short of it. 
you're going to imagine that you are in some kind of kayak or boat or canoe or something like that and you have one paddle. You're going to take that one paddle where your thumbs are pointing and dip it into the water and then push it back. And then you're going to dip it into the other side of the water and dip, push it back. This motion is the essential motion for what becomes smaller with just our elbows and even smaller with just our wrists. This is what our figure eight looks like. <clears throat> you're going to have to understand how to go not only in a forwards figure eight where the top of it goes forwards, but you're going to learn how to do a backwards figure eight as well where the top of it goes backwards. The only difference is instead of being in that kayak and pushing yourself forward, you would be in the kayak, start in the back and push the water in front of you, allowing you to go backwards. Hence the name forwards and backwards uh, figure eight. <clears throat> now, from our combination for context, we have forward strike, up, down, side, side, switching to the other side, left into the right armpit, low block, big step forward strike. So we have our forwards figure eight on this side, starting again behind you and then in front of you. And then we're going to switch gears into a backwards figure eight. But before we do, we're gonna switch directions in front of you and stop. So one more time, this is kind of hard. Hands together or closer together going forwards in front of you or behind you I'm sorry and in front and stopping switching directions behind you and you're letting go and grabbing underneath kind of like a baseball bat swing from here it's just shifting our stance as we drag our staff striking in a angle across so all the way through it is figure eight forwards one going backwards and grab, preparing for our final strike. And all the way through, we have our full combo. One, up, down, side, side, low block, big finish. Sliding together, figure eight, reverse figure eight, and strike. And there we have it. You have a simple Donatello inspired bow staff combination that you can learn at home in your backyard. But with all that said, let's get back inside and finish the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love making this series so far and I can't wait to see how many episodes of the turtle series you guys are gonna want. Um, let me know if you want me to make any small changes, go into more detail here or there. Uh, I can make these videos longer if you want. I can make them shorter if you want. Just let me know what you guys like. I'm, I'm here for you. and. Definitely, if you want to support the channel, you know, you could drop a like, leave a comment, and consider becoming a member. Not only will you get your name running at the end credits of all of my videos, but you'll also get many, many, many of them ahead of time. Not all of them, because sometimes, you know, life happens and I run behind, but you'll get most of the videos ahead of time, including a special kicking summer series that I have, I, depending on when this video releases, that I have it planned for the summer where I'll be breaking down 14 different kicks, one for every week of summer um, and releasing it all early for my members. But with that out of the way, enough of talking about me. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one because my name's DJ Moore, this is The Modern Ninja and I'm out. Be the modern ninja, but left off. Just know I'm dangerous. I'm on that Bruce Lee, flow like water, state of mind Got me going farther than I ever thought I could have been Gotta grab a sheet of paper as you know I got the pin Anybody want to smoke your whole career be looking grim I hit flashing chains while your boy been in the gym Watch me spitting flames while the frogs try to